So today we're going to be doing the L'Oreal Fiera Power Reds. It's the R57, the warmer color. I've already done it about three times on my hair. I've done it since March. I wanted to re dye my hair today, so I figured I'd do a little video. If you can tell, my roots are like coming in. This is about four weeks now. Best color ever. Um, so let's just get started. So this one is not like normal hair dyes. This one comes with um, a shimmer serum since this one is the special power simmer, shimmer conditioner. Right here it says. Now let's just get started and I'll show you how I do my hair. Um, the way I usually do it, I mix it all together like you normally would your hair dye. And then I take and pour some in my bowl. And I have my brush as well. And so usually I just mix it up like you normally would and it's just squirting all my hair, scrunching it up. I squirt some in my bowl and do my roots first and then do it the way you normally would, just squirting the rest on there. Because my hair is super long. So, and I usually only do one box color. I know it seems weird with my long hair with it being thick, but it does very well, covers everything. So we'll just go in and mix it all up together. Okay. So this one says number one on this little one. It's a shimmering conditioning color gel. Right there. And then we're just gonna pour it into number two, which is which is the shimmering conditioning developer cream. Right there. I'm gonna mix it together. And then after this, I'm also going to put um, some Vaseline around the outer edge of my forehead and all the way around to the back so I don't get it on my skin because that would be gross going into work with, you know, dye on your skin. Not too great. And then also number three is going to be the Ar Aromic Shimmer Serum. This little packet right here. So we're just going to pour it into this bottle as well, number two. There we go. And then the last thing, which is very neat, a lot of hair dyes don't have this, is the color booster. This little thing. And we'll just pour it in there. And you just got to be really careful with this. The last time I dyed my hair, like it's... See how it comes out? It's really gross. It almost looks like, like fake blood, you know, from Halloween. But um, you just got to be careful squirting it in here because if it gets on your skin, it will stain for sure. Alright. And then we're just going to put the lid back on here. And always take this little lid off. Last time I forgot. And was shaking it up and how to take this off and some of it kind of squirted out all over the place. It's pretty nasty. Oh! And some of it just squirted out because I squirted. Not good at all. Okay. Nasty. So before I shake that up, I'm just going to brush my hair real quick. Put the petroleum jelly on the perimeters. And then put the gloves on, shake it up, and get started. Alright. I'm just going to put my hair up real quick. So I can put the Vaseline all around. I just kind of like get crazy with it. Because sometimes whenever you're using the dye brush, it likes to like flake off. Kind of on your face sometimes which is not good so I get a little bit crazy with the Vaseline I don't know why why do we always do weird faces every time we like put on foundation or mascara we're like trying to do it I don't know why but we do I guess we think we you know get it on there a little bit better okay since we're done with that Take down the hair. Put 
put the gloves on. Give the hair dye a little shaky shake. And we'll get to the fun stuff. And also at the beginning, some people don't like keep hair ties around the wrist, but I do at all times when my hair is thicker and longer. Um, go on and make sure you have one of these on because at the end I like to just put my hair up in the bun, throw one of those on it, or put it on after I put the cap on the top. Helps keep it in place. So we're just going to shake the bottle up real good. And hair dye always looks scary after you get done shaking. It's like, I don't want my hair looking that color. Okay, that is the color it is after we get done shaking it. So I'm just going to take, ooh, look, it's already coming out. So I'm just going to take and squirt some in my bowl. I don't know if you can see it. Whoa, let me see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to cover the whole bottom here. Just really nice. Okay, so I did that and I still have a lot left in my bottle. I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Here's the bottom of it. I'm just gonna take my brush, dip it in there, and get to working on the roots of my hair. So we're just gonna get some on the brush like so, and then we're just gonna start in here and just go in. Sorry if I'm looking off to the side. I got like my mirror right here. So I don't get any anywhere that I don't want it. Okay, if you can see, I've already done this side right here. Then we're just gonna go over here and do this side. Just to get it even on here. And I like to push it in and then sweep it across. Is usually how I like it to do it, but you can do it whichever way feels good to you. Okay, so all right, and then after this, I always just use this end and go up towards this way and just flip it over. And then just go along this way and do the exact same thing with these two sides as we did on this one. So we're just gonna go in and I'm gonna go on and do this side right here and go down. And I found like the first couple of times I've done my hair, I always did the old fashioned way to squirt, squirt and scrub it. And this way I love it. That way I know I get deep down in the roots, get them all taken care of. And it also helps hold your hair down so whenever you go to squirt the rest of it on, it makes it a lot simpler. All right, just go on this side again and flip. And then just start in and go in again. And my biggest thing is like this little patch right here I always miss for some reason. I guess I'm afraid I'm gonna get it on the skin and it's gonna stain the little area because if you don't if you can tell I barely have like I have like a, just a little patch of hair right there. It kinda scares me, I guess, from whenever I go and see I get it like on my skin and it freaks me out like it's gonna stay there. I'm just gonna brush that part back. Right there. Try to get it there. Just go on and brush that in there. And that'll kind of help hold some of this little hair back. And when I get on down here, I don't even worry about the roots. I'm just going to flip it over and do this side right here. So just go in, flip all of that fabulous hair over, and do this side. Na -na 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 -na. mention in case you do get any on your skin if you're like oops and get some on your forehead just get like a wet paper towel cloth anything like that just get it wet and it'll come right off see like right there I got some like right now I could just rub it off not that big of a deal but um one is some of the major kind 
definitely get a wet cloth and get it off pretty immediately. I usually do just to be on the safe side. There we go. Again, flip. And then just go in again. Go in and do it. Okay. And I am getting pretty low in my cup, which is good. But I'm just going to use the, the rest up. I'm going to show you all. That's what I have left in there. So I'm going to pause for a second right here and kind of show you um, what I like to do. Let me get this cloth lit real quick. Just like a little corner. See how I got some like right there. That's kind of i uh, I'm going to go in and get that off just in case anything happens. So I'm just going to like dot it a little bit on my skin there. And cleared it right up. Got it on the toe. All right, let's go on. Do one more flip here and get this taken care of. I usually just start, just go down to right about the ear. Back down the center, split it out like just right down the center. And I'm just gonna start adding. Just go in again since my hair splits right down the center. Don't much care for it splitting down the center, but it does. So I'm just going to really just take on the rest of it, pat it down right here. Just use up the rest that I have in the bowl. All right, getting down to the little bits here. Going to pat that in. Okay, so that's what I have left in the bowl, just a little bit. I'm going to leave that little bit in there just in case I need it like at the end. Usually when I put the, the bone at the top, I like to just touch it up just a little bit. So now, the fun stuff. I'm just going to take my hair, squirt it on here. Ugh. hate doing this part. Like, I'm really tempted just to be like, you know, get a bunch of friends together. Be like, hey, who wants to dye their hair? Bring your hair color over. And just have like a hair dye party because it's such a pain in the butt to do it by yourself. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I do. So, sometimes I also like to just do a little squirt in my hand. Rub it together and just add it. Sorry, it's kind of hard for you to see. I've got really long hair. But I'm just going down, pulling it down, making sure everything is done. And this part freaks me out. I feel like it's going to like hit my face, which I do have some right here on my face. Fantastic. Going to get that off and on my ear. Great. So I'm just going to pull my hair back, kind of flip the hair over, give it some squirts. And just massage it in. And I always like to hold my hand there just in case it starts running. I can catch it. Alright. So, hair is all over. To one side now, you can kind of tell that this hair right here is not wet at all. So, I'm just going to hold it my hand like this. Squirt it in. And just massage. Squirt and massage. And just kind of work my way down to the end. See how it's starting to get wet? And I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm done with the bottle. And massage. Pull these ends up. And massage. Go back up to the top. Start the process over again. And massage. Okay. 
All right. Get into the top. Start a massage. I'm going to pull my hair up. I'm going to start looping it around into the bun. Pull my hair up. Make sure it's all massaging in there. Massage. Massage. All right. And then I'm going to go on and take without getting my arm any dye on it. I'm just going to go on and take my hair thing. Holds it in place. How nice. Did get a little bit of dye on my arm in the process. Good thing I got my towel. Wipe it right off. Alright. Just going to get a little bit wild with the uh, extra hair dye that I have here. Hair dye. Oh, getting to the end. Getting to the end. Alright. I think the back feels very moist. Squirt some more. Alright. I think we're done, guys. Alright, I'm going to go on and take my gloves off very carefully. Let's see. Do the old glove and the other hand trick so they can fold into each other and be mess free. I did get some on my hands. Oh well. Now I'm just going to take my plastic sack that I have. going to carefully put it over top of my head, over my ears, and I always make sure that the loops, you know, the part that you like hold the bag is in the back right here, and then I tie them together. Just to kind of help hold it in. Yeah. All right, and then I'm just gonna pull this up here, squeeze all the air out, squeeze it to my head, just set it for 25 minutes, and whenever that 25 minutes is up, I'll be back to show you what it looks like after I do this, and then we'll wash it out and blow dry it and show you the end result. So we are back, and my timer's went off, so I'm just gonna take this off, jump in the shower real quick. And then I'll be back. This is what it looks like when I got that all taken care of. I'm going to take steps four and I guess five. Um, this one is the Power Shimmer um, Shampoo. This right here. It says on here to um, just rinse your hair out with cold water. Put this in there and use half of it. Wash it real good, wash it out, and then wash it again for the second time with the shampoo. Wash it out, make sure your hair runs clear, and then use your Power Shimmering Conditioner. I don't know if you can see it right there. Power Shimmering Conditioner. And then I usually use just about half of this. I left it sit for a couple minutes, then rinse it out. So I'm just going to go get in the shower real quick. So I'm back from washing my hair. This is what it looks like. You can see the red in it all over so I'm just gonna blow dry my hair and show you what the end result looks like okay so this is the final result of the color and if y'all can tell got all the roots in there like literally the lighting indoors does not do this color justice at all tell the color it really does look brown like in here at least to me it does but see the color how shiny the hair is it's awesomeness so um I did forget 
to mention at the beginning of this video. It is um, actually called, it's the Intense Medium Auburn set that they have. This one is called the Cherry Crush, the R57. Right here, I'll show you at the top there. This is the front. And it is $10. I got this one at CVS. Um, not a bad deal for $10. So, if you liked my video, like me down below. Push the subscribe button. Um, comment what you'd like to see. If you want to do some Pinterest ideas. Anything like that. Any more colors. Makeup. Just let me know what you'd like to see. I have some things I've been planning on doing later on for these videos so there you have it i hope you like your color if you like to do this color as well send me a picture